Hi, I'm Tom O'Shea. I'm the co-chairperson of the Windsor High School Athletics Hall of Fame Committee. Graduated in 1978, played uh, basketball, baseball, and soccer while I was there. Um, basketball was not maybe the, uh, <laughs> the strongest of my three sports, so I don't think a lot of people would remember any of my basketball I played. But um, um, primarily, it was, it was baseball and soccer where I spent most of my time. Uh, I think everybody um, needs to find an outlet and a passion and whether it's an academic passion, an athletic passion, the arts, whatever the case may be, I think it's, it's critical for everybody to have that, uh, that avenue. Um, for me, sports, sports was it. Um, certainly enjoyed my time in the classroom, but I <laughs> really enjoyed my time on the field. While I was in high school, I um, had, um, obviously, Mr. Chasen <laughs> was, my, uh, was my baseball coach and an incredibly big influence in, in me, both on and off the field. Um, knew him for a number of years before I got to the high school um, from him running camps and clinics for youth in town, camps and clinics that I attended, uh, and then being able to, uh, to kind of be on the other side and helping to instruct and, and participate in some of those camps. So uh, he was, uh, again, tremendously uh, influential and was a coach who not only prepared me well to face the challenges on the field in high school, but also had an impact in how I handled things off the field. And also from a pure sports standpoint, um, tremendously prepared me for the opportunity to play in college. There wasn't really anything that I um, had to face playing baseball in college that I hadn't been very well prepared for um, by, uh, by Mr. Chasen. Uh, basketball, played for George Benoit, tremendous man. Um, unfortunately for, for him, we were not the greatest team, so he struggled for a pretty tough year or two. <laughs> with with some of us, but uh, you know, really enjoyed um, him and and, um, and uh, you know playing for him and uh, Bob Stevenson, uh, who has uh, since passed, but he was the uh, the soccer coach that I got to play for, and uh, again, he's just a, a Windsor High School legend. Honestly, most of the inductees really stood out in one particular sport, but with very few exceptions, um, would somebody at least at this point be inducted into the Hall of Fame if they were only a one sport athlete, so, so typically they're getting in based on their overall body of work. Sure, this is the sixth year of the Hall of Fame. Um, it was originally started, and a, a good number of the original committee is still involved. Um, George and Kerry Curry um, were um, two of the original members, and Kerry has really been um, leading the committee up until this year. This is the first year that we've had a bit of a change in, in um, some of the members of the committee. Uh, Celeste and Kevin Over were involved uh, right from the uh, right from the onset. Steve Risser, who's the athletic director at Windsor High School, has been involved from the uh, beginning, as has Mr. Chasen um, from uh, from the onset. So those are the original members. It was uh, it was a, a, a tremendous you know honor and, and definitely a memory that uh, that I'll always have. Um, you receive a letter, you know, so you, you certainly, as you get to know about the Hall of Fame. You hope, you know, that maybe you'll have a shot. Um, and so uh, it was it was kind of interesting. I had been asked to, to join the committee, and I was more than happy to join the committee. And the, the day of the first meeting that I was supposed to attend, shortly before I was getting ready to leave the house, I got a message saying, don't come. <laughs> Not a lot of reasoning why, but you know, don't come. This is actually going to be a meeting for some of the, the previous people. As it turned out, that was the night that they were selecting <laughs> the inductees for, for that year. So um, shortly thereafter, I received uh, you know, a notification that I had, uh, had been inducted, and it was, uh, it was tremendous. For the event itself, um, it's really a nice, a nice night. Um, it starts with a social hour. It, it's an evening. So um, there's an opportunity, a very informal opportunity for friends, family, and the inductees to, to get together. and. Um, either reconnect, depending on who's getting in, because they may have been at the high school at the same time, they may not have seen each other for, for a while, because we certainly have inductees who have moved from the area and are coming back. Um, so it's, it's a real nice, comfortable, casual social hour. And then um, when we move to the actual event, it's a sit-down sit dinner. Um, and we have been very fortunate to always have a, uh, a well-known, a locally known, um, sports figure serving as the MC. So we've had uh, Bob Rumble in the in the past. We've had Joe uh, D'Ambrosio 
serve as the, uh, the Master of Ceremonies in the, in the past. Kevin Nathan, I believe, is, is on board to be the Master of Ceremonies this year. So when we get to the awards, um, the actual induction portion of the ceremony, um, the uh, MC will read the bio of the person who's inducted. Um, and the, the inductee is the one who provides the bio, so it's, it's usually pretty accurate <laughs> as a result. Um, so they'll read the, uh, the bio uh, of the person, and then um, each of the inductees gets to select the person who is formally introducing them in, for induction into the Hall of Fame. Uh, and that's sometimes some of the nicest um, portions of, of the event, is to hear the comments because they're usually, again, very personal. You get to hear some stories that maybe the inductee wouldn't, wouldn't want to, not that they wouldn't want to have it shared, but maybe um, you know, wouldn't choose to share. So you get to you know, get a little bit more of that, that family feel, um, you know, that, uh, that true history about the athlete. And then the, uh, the athlete uh, comes up and uh, you know, has their opportunity to present you know, uh, their perspective you know, on things and, and you know, give their, their five minute commentary. It's, it's a very, very nice evening.